Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and welcome to the top 5 biggest WTF moments in gaming. Now, a few quick ground rules for the entries. 1. They have to have appeared on a Nintendo console, because we are Nintendo Life. 2. No franchise can be represented more than once. And 3. There is no third rule. So, enough prattle, let's get straight into it with number 5. Now, Sonic Adventure 2 is a bit of a strange game to begin with. It's got a bit of a funny premise, but it's a Sonic game, what do you expect? However, if you were impatient like me and you happened to mash the A button during certain cutscenes, you would be gifted with the sight of Big the Cat dropping out of nowhere and just sort of being there in the background. He's just sort of there, spying on the other characters in a sort of voyeuristic peeping Tom way. I, j I just don't like it. This is even weirder for anybody who, like me, hadn't played the original Sonic Adventure and as such had no idea who Big the Cat was. This purple thing just dropped down with this ungodly stare and it's just... Ugh. This is also one of the few Easter eggs I've ever actually found by myself without any additional help. So it gains marks for that on a personal level for me. Now you're playing Pokemon X and Y, you want to have a look around the Paris-inspired Lumio City, of course you do, it's a lovely little town. So you go in all the buildings and you go up this lift at one point and... something weird happens. Once you step out the lift, control is taken away from you, and this weird ghost girl appears behind you. She has no real animation, so she just sort of glides in front of you, which is bad enough by itself, but then she utters these words. No, you are not the one. Considering Pokemon is a fairly light-hearted, child-friendly game, having something like this in it is just creepy as you like. And the worst thing is, you can never see that cutscene again. Even if you go back into that room, nothing will happen, and that is just the creepiest part. This easter egg is still unsolved. We have no idea if it actually alludes to anything that's going to happen in maybe a downloadable event, or anything like that. Nobody's found anything in the code. It's just... oh, it's unsolved, it's creepy. It just deserves to be on this list. Now anyone who played the original Star Wing or Star Fox may know that there's the black hole that you can take and it'll warp you to certain areas and that's pretty cool, you can cut out some of the game. However, if you go to the asteroid belt on the hardest difficulty setting, you can actually go to somewhere even crazier. If you repeatedly shoot the second large meteorite you see, eventually it will explode, an egg will appear out of it, and a bird will hatch out of it. This bird will then begin to sort of slowly drift across the screen as you get closer and closer to it, and if you manage to get close enough to it that you go into its beak, you will exit the level. You will then go to an unmarked location on the map called Out of This Dimension, and this seems weird, it's only going to get weirder. As soon as you enter the level, the background is really, really warped and not that appealing to look at. There are sort of faces. It's just all wibbly wobbly and horrid. And of course, the only enemies you'll encounter will be paper planes. These flutter down as pieces of paper before folding themselves and throwing themselves towards you. It's weird. If you then get to the end of the level, you get to fight a boss. And what is the boss? Is it some sort of spaceship? No, it's a giant slot machine. Seriously. Depending on the result, every time you shoot the slot machine's lever, the slot machine will either fire missiles or coins at you. Coins will give you shield, missiles will take off your shield. It's as simple as that. If you manage to get 777, you defeat the boss and you are treated to some credits that handle the frame rate like arse. Once the credits are passed, you're presented with the words THE END that are sort of not orientated correctly and so you can shoot them so that they are orientated correctly and then they fly towards you and the whole thing repeats itself. I am the great mighty poo and I'm going to throw my <laughs> at you. If you played Conker's Bad Fur Day, when you first started up, did you think that one of the bosses was going to be an enormous anthropomorphic piece of excrement that sings opera? I didn't. However, the Great Mighty Poo is a boss in the game, and it's just so weird. This operatic fecal matter will try and take you down by throwing substance at you, and you've got to try and defeat him by throwing toilet paper in his mouth whenever he sings. This is easily one of the weirdest moments I've ever experienced in gaming, and it's just sublime in how it's been done. Somebody must have sat down and thought, I want an enormous turd to sing opera and be a boss in the game with sweet corn as its teeth. And it happened. Rare, you did us proud. Everyone these days knows that Samus from the Metroid series is of course a woman, but back in the original game, 
things weren't so clear. When you fired up the game, Samus was already in her power armor, so you couldn't really tell whether it was a he, a she, a robot, or anything like that. Most people playing the game for the first time would have had no idea that Samus was in fact a woman. And actually, this was only included as an afterthought by one of the game's developers. The original manual also mistakenly referred to Samus as a he. It really was that difficult to find out. The only way you could have originally found out how to do this was by completing the game in under a certain time. Now, I don't know what the time is, but I'm sure it's pretty quick. And given that there's no map on this game, it would have been a challenge, to say the least. Samus was one of the first female protagonists that you could actually play as in a game. And as such, it's an incredible milestone in video gaming. Metroid is one of the most beloved Nintendo franchises to date, and as such, I think this definitely deserves to be at number one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, why don't you sling some matter at that subscribe button, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Do you really think you'll survive in here? You don't seem to know which creek you're in. Sweet corn is the only thing that makes it through my rear. How do you think I keep this lovely grin?